it's October, so we're doing a site location tour of arguably the best teenage horror film of all time, The Craft. Behind me over here, this is where Sydney comes to LA. Is this Sydney? Or is this Sarah? Oh, it's Sarah! And Nancy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Her name is Sarah. <laughs> Behind me, this is where Sarah moves to LA and eventually hands Nancy her ass in the epic battle at the end. It's actually um, not easy to get to and there are big no trespassing signs, so we're not going to go all the way up to the top, but it is visible all the way over there, Spanish Colonial. Alright, it's been 24 years since the release of The Craft, but... Not a day goes by that we don't remember the anxiety that Sarah felt on that first day of school. Not once do we forget the anticipation that she felt as she walked into the classroom that first time and met who would become her coven. And all that happened here at Verdugo Hills High School, which is the most filmed high school in the world because it was in a bunch of other shit too, including Heather's my so-called life, basically anything with a high school depressed teenager. Case in point, they are filming something right now. Do you think that's Menon right now? Talking to us? Behind me is Jensen's Recreation Center. You might be asking yourself, where was this used in the film? And if you're looking down here, you're looking in the wrong place because the shooting location was actually up here on the roof. On that rooftop, that is where Sarah and Skeet Ulrich meet. And then afterwards, Skeet lies about doing the Chaka Chaka with Sarah, ultimately driving her into the coven. So up there, you see the sign? That's where it all went down. Alright, so this is our next stop on the craft tour. Uh, behind me over here, the Palace Theater. This is where the homeless dude chased her with the snake. Did he have the snake again? He did. And he was like, I had a dream about you. You were dead. And then she runs across over here and then homeboy gets smashed right around over there. This is the next location. This is the Adobe Market, which also was the bookstore where Nev Campbell explained to Sarah everything in nature steals, you know, big animals from small animals. Right over there. So actually for the movie, they put in a bunch of trees and plants and whatever to make it look really mystic, but in actuality, it's an apartment building next to a liquor store. It took forever to line up this shot, but Menon is finally listening to us and was finally able to figure out that this behind me is where the girls got off to do their magical ritual and basically form the circle. Uh, this whole area has been developed, so back in the day this would have been empty, but right here is where the bench is that the girls get dropped off at. Um, and where the bus driver infamous, infamously warns them, hey, watch out for those weirdos. And they say, ha, huh, we are the weirdos, mister. So, this subdivision was actually built in 1999. So it would have been built like after the production of the movie, which makes sense. But what I really love about this is that we're in the middle of the Simi Valley Mountains. And Hollywood would make you think that <laughs> the girls trekked from... <laughs> here all the way to Malibu to Leo Carrillo State Park which is obviously impossible but maybe if you're a witch it is possible all right final location here arguably the best Leo Carrillo State Beach it's dark because LA traffic man but at least we're here uh, we're gonna walk up to the rock formations where uh, the girls made their offerings 
and where, of course, our anti-hero Nancy invoked the spirit. Yeah, that does look good. Okay, cool. Stall and say like and subscribe.